Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The American Marvel C-130 is a four-engine turboprop aircraft capable of taking off and landing on unprepared runways. Originally designed as a troop, medevac and cargo transport aircraft, the C-130's versatile airframe has been used for several other roles, such as airborne assault, search and rescue, aerial refueling, and scientific research support. It's now the main tactical transport aircraft for many military forces around the world. A peculiar variant of the C-130, known as MC-130, was developed for special operations forces in challenging environments, like the Arctic region. The MC-130 took its first flight in April of 2011, marking the beginning of its operational history. This aircraft boasts a wingspan of 133 feet, a length of 98 feet, and a height of 39 feet, and is mainly used for infiltration, exfiltration, and resupply missions for the Special Operation Forces. It's powered by four Rolls-Royce AE2100 turboprop engines, which generate a thrust of 4,591 shaft horsepower. With a speed of up to 362 knots at 22,000 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of 164,000 pounds, the MC-130 provides extraordinary operational reach and endurance. Before its launch to conduct special Arctic missions, the MC-130 undergoes a meticulous pre-flight procedure. To facilitate the engine, the crew attaches hoses to the hub of the propeller, which circulates hot compressed air inside the engine, ultimately assisting it while turning on. These preparations ensure optimal performance by preventing potential issues caused by low temperatures in the Arctic environment. The MC-130 features advanced communication and avionic systems to meet the unique requirements of Special Operation Forces. state-of-the-art technologies play a vital role in effective communication, precise navigation, and situational awareness during missions. With cutting-edge communication equipment, the MC-130 provides seamless communication between the pilots and the crew in the command and control center on the ground. Advanced navigation systems, including a global positioning system, an inertial navigation system, and terrain-following radar, allow the MC-130 pilots to carry out airdrops and other missions precisely in the challenging Arctic environment. The uses of the C-130 airframe are beyond transportation. It can also be utilized for Arctic domain awareness, conducting flights above the Arctic Circle, and dropping probes to collect vital data.
The ramp of the aircraft was open mid-air, and two airmen deployed scientific probes above the Arctic Circle. These probes measured several parameters of the water, including the temperature, salinity, and density. The readings were transmitted back to the researchers, which allowed them to gain a better understanding of the Arctic climate conditions during the summer season. Similar to the MC-130, Lockheed Martin developed a unique aircraft called the LC-130. It's equipped with wheel ski gear and eight-bladed propellers, which allow it to operate effectively in Arctic conditions. With a wingspan of 132.6 feet, a length of 97.8 feet, and a height of 38.8 feet, the LC-130 can carry up to 92 passengers, six cargo pallets, or 16 container delivery system bundles. It's powered by four Rolls-Royce T-56 3.5 turboprop engines which provide enough power to take off while carrying a maximum weight of up to 155,000 pounds. All of this makes the LC-130 a crucial asset for the United States military to resupply its research stations in the Arctic effectively. The latest tanker version of the C-130 Hercules is designated as the KC-130J. It's a multi-role tanker and transport aircraft, which provides in-flight refueling to aircraft and helicopters. The KC-130J offers a 27,250 kilogram fuel capacity. However, if more fuel is required, it can carry an additional 11,064 kilograms of fuel in a 3,600 gallon aluminum fuel tank kept inside the cargo compartment. The system also functions without the fuselage tank, so the cargo compartment can be used to transport cargo on the same mission, providing greater flexibility. In addition to aerial refueling, the KC-130J performs various other missions like airdropping cargo, providing emergency resupply into unimproved landing zones and tactical insertion of troops and equipment along with evacuation missions. Another important variant of the C-130 Hercules is the EC-130J Solo Commando aircraft. This aircraft was based on a basic C-130E platform and provided tactical airborne command post capabilities to air and ground commanders in low air threat environments. The newest version featured highly specialized modifications such as enhanced navigation systems, self-protection equipment, and state-of-the-art communication systems. Most of the C-130 Hercules variants focused on transporting cargo and troops. However, Boeing utilized the C-130's airframe to develop a unique variant that was different from every other variant. Right, crew. Clear for Developed as a heavily armed ground attack aircraft variant of the C-130 Hercules, 
the AC-130 gunship carries a wide array of weapons and is integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation, and fire control systems. Preparing an AC-130 for hostile environments is not easy. Highly trained load crews shoulder the responsibility of loading and maintaining the aircraft's formidable arsenal. The load crew ensures the AC-130 is armed to its fullest potential before takeoff. When the aircraft fires weaponry mid-air, the air crew reloads the weaponry and ensures that the aircraft never runs out of firepower. The backup ammunition is kept on shelves in the gun room, ensuring the load crews always have enough supplies for loading. Before every mission, these shelves are filled with ammunition to guarantee there's always enough for the job. Firing weaponry from an AC-130 requires synchronized efforts from the pilot, aerial gunners, and combat systems officers. These efforts ensure that each action executed within the cockpit seamlessly aligns with the mission's objective. However, flying an AC-130 while firing at the intended target is challenging. The pilot has to skillfully maneuver the aircraft to ensure the weapons remain precisely directed at the target. One of the biggest concerns for the crew is not hurting the good guys on the ground. The C-130 airframe has been utilized for commercial use as well. I can kick it off. Developed by Lockheed Corporation, the L-100 Hercules is the civilian variant of the C-130 Hercules. On February 3, 2014, Lockheed Martin formally relaunched the LM-100J program. They considered the new LM-100J an ideal replacement for the existing civil L-100 fleets. As it's based on the operational C-130J, the civil variant LM-100J can operate from short, unprepared airfields without ground support equipment. Moreover, it can rapidly load and offload supplies at truck bed height. The unique structure allows the aircraft to support a variety of civil missions, such as aerial firefighting, air ambulance, humanitarian aid, and VIP transport. The ability of the C-130 Hercules and all of its variants to operate in challenging environments and fulfill a multitude of roles underscores its significance in both military and civilian sectors. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.